our first guest this hour. And by the way, all three hours are available for you if your local station has other programming responsibilities, can't quite cover all three hours. No, you can visit us at intotomorrow.com. We have them there for you. Subscribe to the audio podcast, as I mentioned. But all three hours, uh, our first guest this hour is a Heart Health Wearables Company based in San Francisco. Again, back in the good old U.S. of A. Delighted to have with us here in our broadcast booth at IFA, the Chief Business Officer for Quartio, and that's Alexis Zervoglas. Did I was I close? Yes, yeah, spot on. <clears throat> spot on. Oh, very good. Great Thank to you. be here, Dave. Thank it's you. a pleasure to have you with us as well. We've uh, chatted with uh, uh, several of your colleagues over the years as Quartio is coming out with some new things all the time. Uh, you have another new thing you're showing here at IFA. Tell us about that, and we'll get into some of the other goodies. Sure. Th- um, this is our brand new uh, connected scale. It's the Quartio Base. So this is a scale and body analyzer, and this is just the next next step in our kind of vision of creating products that are incredibly personal to help you take control of your health. So what you can see actually straight away is you've never seen a scale like this. This is beautifully designed. You can actually see the materials. We're using premium materials, premium components inside. And what we've tried to do is make something that for once you're not going to hide away. That's true. It's not, a, it's not your typical scale that you've got to hide because you don't want people to know you even have to take your weight, right? That's right. I mean, the first thing we found out it's when we stylish. were asking... Well, <laughs> I hope so. The <laughs> first thing we found out when we were asking people is, you know, where's your scale? Well, it's slid under the bed, it's yeah. behind the door, it's in the cupboard. <laughs> we wanted something that you'd be proud to have out there in the middle of your room. And if it's out there, you're going to use it. And that's what we want you to do. And what I love about this, when you first power it up uh, by stepping on it, yep. uh, it, uh, it smiles at you. Well, that's the idea, and it keeps smiling at you as long as you do the right thing. Uh (laughs) Aha. And what what might be the right thing? So the right thing, well, that depends, actually. So, you know, as you can see, I'm a bit of a muscle man, I wish. (laughs) Uh, But if I was there there trying to bulk up. Yeah, wait, yeah, me too, for those listening only on the radio and not yet seeing the video. We're muscle men. That's the beauty of your medium, Dave. Yes, we just just won muscle competitions here at IFA. Uh, Oh, wait, you're watching on video? Well, Uh, 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 you were saying. Don't judge us. (laughs) Yes, don't judge (laughs) us. In fact, uh, when, when we launched, uh, when we first announced the scale, one of the member of the press tweeted, this is the scale that won't judge you. Oh. And that kind of stuck <laughs> with us. We thought that Good. was the perfect thing because when we talked to people, we said, you know, what is the feedback? What is the thing that motivates you or demotivates you from trying to manage your weight? Yeah. Which is a huge issue for all of us. I mean, the only time you're really happy about getting on a scale is when you're convinced that you've lost some weight and you're working hard at it and you say, this is going to be good. Let me get on. Wonderful. But every time you power the Quartio scale up, this new one, it smiles at you. That's right. And we've learned that our TV lights are too bright because we try to show the smile. It's not showing up. So instead, I'm going to show you, for example, what it looks like from the box. You see, number one, you know this isn't my weight because, number one, it's too, it's too light, and I'm not James. But it gives you an idea, you know, that initially it'll power up and, t- and identify you because you have connected the device, as That's you mentioned right. early on. It's a connected device. Now prepare to me, for me to swing the box around. But that's what you see, this smile, and it encourages you. It's, it's just like, hi, hi, don't worry, you can step on me now. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's a good, we wanted this to, ma- to make this a sort of an effortless experience, something you'll be happy to do every day. And then actually, unfortunately, it may frown at you. It's yes, possible. because Chris is now showing the other options right. uh, for the smart feedback, which might be a frown as well, or just uh, what's the middle one? How, how would you middle describe one? the uh, middle that's one? That's neutral. You're it's doing, kind of you're a doing neutral. okay. Yeah. You, you haven't had a great day, yeah. but you're doing... But you're I'm going, not going to frown. You're still going okay. And <laughs> But, you know, let's focus on the smile. What we're, what we're doing here is saying, look, your trend is good. So when it, every time you step on the scale, it's going to download all your latest readings. It recognizes you straight away. It'll download them. It'll say, is your trend in the right direction? Not, did you have a bad night last night? Did you go and celebrate and suddenly your scale will punish you for it. No, that's okay. <laughs> what we want to know is, are you going in the right direction? Yeah. And we want to encourage you to do that because this is all about you taking control. Exactly. I was just going to say, it's one of those fitness things because you're connected with your smartphone or a tablet mm. that's hopefully encouraging you in many ways anyway. So you had a, a bad night or a bad day. Maybe it was a good night, but in terms of weight, it becomes a bad night. So you're certainly going to be very aware of that. 
yeah. and, and then get some hints and tips as you need to be more encouraged to continue to lose weight. But it, you said it's also a body monitor in other ways. It it's does. Not it just does full, uh, correct. It's got electrodes actually etched on the surface. You can't quite see them. And so these are doing full body analysis, telling you your muscle composition, your bone density, your uh, water content, and so on. So And it knows all this from stepping on the you scale? You just stand on it with bare feet. Yes, and of as course. long as you're w uh, barefoot, it's going to not only do it, but it's going to just, you stand on it in the morning and recognize you, gives you a little buzz to know that you're done with haptic feedback. Uh -huh. You step off and get on with your day. But all your data has gone via Wi-Fi into the cloud. It's recorded against your profile, and it can be available to you. Or if you want, you can share it with your loved ones or with your doctor. So everything is seamless. It's all, all of our devices are about effortlessness. Sure. Making it easy, encouraging people to actually measure themselves. And I'm glad you brought up doctors because I'm wondering what kind of feedback you may have received from healthcare professionals. Are they liking this? Is it helping their, their patients, therefore encouraging this sort of thing? I think um, it, it's uh, one of the strongest things we've had is, is a, a extreme uh, um, interest from the doctor community because what they say is people... They know they need to measure themselves, but they don't do it. Yeah. It's not that, that you need new technologies, you need to invent something crazy. What you need to do is make it easier, make it more enjoyable, encourage people to do it. So all of our devices, the scale, our, our blood pressure monitor, yeah. our wearable ECG, all of these devices actually just make it effortless. You put it on, you use it, that's the last thing you do, and all the doctor gets, uh, gets the data. And we're actually seeing people using these devices three times as much as other equivalent devices. And the doctors want the data. It's not, oh, don't bother me with stuff. I have too many things to look at. It, this is really helping them this is real better data. interact with their patients. Well, that's right. because They want it because it's good data. Yeah. This is medical-grade data. All the devices are clinically validated medical devices. And so that's meaningful to them. That's something they can work with. And we've quickly run out of time, but I want to, there's been a, some sort of connection with you guys and the Apple Watch as well. What are you doing with uh, them? That's right. Actually, we were uh, the first medical device on the Apple Watch, thanks to our close connection to Apple. So actually, you can take a blood pressure measurement or yeah. you can look at your weight on the Apple Watch and you can actually record it. So it's just staying ahead and making it enjoyable, making it useful. Yeah, except that the Apple Watch has probably drained its battery by now. Yeah, well, uh, no, no comment. Yeah, <laughs> my LG G uh, Android Wear watch is fine. Uh, just saying, just saying. It doesn't have to have a piece of fruit on it. Yeah, I know you hear that. Uh, Alexis, you're fun to chat with and thanks for spending a few minutes with us and snagging your goodies uh, from your exhibit and bringing them over to show. Thank you very much, Dave. Great it, to be here. It's our pleasure getquardio.com it's g e t q a r d i o getquardio.com we'll link you there at intotomorrow.com back with more from berlin germany as we continue at ifa on the advanced media network into tomorrow <laughs>